Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is all about helping you guys edit your photos and your videos professionally, but for free. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to create the matte effect using Darktable. Right, so before we start, I got one announcement to make, which is like right now, officially, we are the biggest source of Darktable videos online. I'm very proud of that. It's been in the works for over one and a half years, creating videos weekly, and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys' support. So thank you very much. And without further ado, let's start. And the first module that we're going to use is the color balance module. You can find it by searching for color or you can find it in the group menus or you can go down to more modules and then find it in the list down below. And what we're going to do to this image, we've got the shadows, we've got the midtones, we've got the highlights, which are also the lift, gamma and gain. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use the factor slider and move it to the right a little bit. And there you go. It's as easy as that. Now we've got a faded out Instagram matte effect. I like it, it's very vintage like, so this is one way to do it. I'm going to show you guys a second way by using a different image. And this is the second image that we're going to use. I'm going to crop it first uh, due to the fact that it's got some dark areas over here. So let me just pull it in and then make sure that the girl is still visible. There we go, that looks a lot better. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the tone curve module. We're going to activate it. And this is a very, very easy step. We need to get this point, move it upwards a little bit and then inwards a little bit. And you can do it as much as you like to see what you like. And obviously this looks artificial and horrible and we don't even need to talk about this. So let me just put it back. There we go. And now let me show you guys before and after. So here's the before. And here's the after, it's got the matte effect. It's got some artifacts, but that has to do with the fact that this is a JPEG and not a RAW, so the dynamic range isn't very big. And that's it, two easy ways to create a matte effect using Darktable. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below.